Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the brand new bottle of the Linkwood 15 years of age from Garnham McPhail. This is an independent bottler, very old one, very famous one. It's over 125 years old. And this independent bottler from Elgin in the Speyside, not far away from the distillery Linkwood, uh, had and has uh, very good connections to the distilleries. And in former times, 100 years ago, Garnet McPhail was the only licensed bottler of the Linkwood malt whiskey. So all the whiskey, all the other whiskey went, went into the uh, blended whiskey industry and a few casks went uh, to Garner McPhail and they bottled it under this distillery label and therefore this is the special individual label for the Linkwood brand at Garner McPhail. Uh, this was then called the distillery label. Distillery labels for the old series. Um, and here in the back uh, there are tasting notes. Rich sherry aromas mixed with hints of ripe summer berries, smooth and well balanced, delicate cinnamon, I love cinnamon, and clough flavors develop into a subtle charred oak finish. It's 43% ABV, uh, not too high, so for the, well, the not too experienced uh, connoisseur, um, but more than the standard 40% ABV, is uncolored. Um, and the price is, well, around 70 euros, dollars, pounds. And uh, this is called the original bottle of Linkwood. There's a little bit of dispute going on because there's a flora and fauna bottle with an age of 12 years. And uh, the flora and fauna series is, or has the proprietor Diageo, which owns the distillery Linkwood. Uh, so might that be the original bottling? Well, the Flora and Fauna series came out far later than this original distillery label. So from my point of view, this is the original bottle because it's so long on the market. Uh, and the Flora and Fauna, well, mm, probably it's, it's the cousin. Yeah, so now we have a look. At the content. Already a lot of sherry on the cork. <clears throat> a lot of sherry accompanied by those fresh berries, red berries. And then well behind toffee, caramel, sweetness, malt, very well round, pleasant smells. And far behind, growing stronger, is some, well, orange, not that bitter orange, it's more tangerine sweet juice oranges and a little cinnamon yes there it is so it's a really a complex aroma even only having 43 percent abv the aroma is complex because of those 15 years of maturation and those extreme sherry casks yeah so this is not a finishing process. This is a mixing process from whiskies which matured for 15 years in the single cask. Then they are mixed, still single malt because they are from the same distillery, but there are first fill and refill sherry casks used for that mixture. And that brings, well, on one hand, uh, the light spiciness from the oak and on the other hand, the fruit from uh, the distillery character and from the sherry itself. Mm -hmm. Mm 
very smooth, pleasant on the tongue. It's only 43%. And then as soon as you swallow, spiciness arises from the oak, mouthwatering. And now a little, yeah, dark chocolate appearing, a hint of bitterness coming through. The aftertaste is medium to long, still there, mouth-watering. Yeah, the sherry is wonderful. And now there is more caramel, probably a hint of vanilla, not very much. And some spicy, uh, spices from the oak. Hmm. With the second sip, more of the wood. Um, this is definitely a European oak, which shines through. There might be some uh, American white oak sherry cars in that as well, but the European oak shows this spiciness, light bitterness, this coffee note, the tannins from the wood. Wonderful. Now it's a complete mouthful. The aftertaste is longer. Spiciness. Yeah. Oh. That's hefty. And God McPhail did everything right with that bottle. So it's just on the point. There's a 25 years of age bottle on the market as well. And there you can see from the color, it's uncolored, uh, that it contains more first fill sherry, uh, more uh, yeah, lightly reddish color. So this is uh, dark gold. So the content of first fill sherry cast is maximum half, probably 30 percent. Yeah. But it's exactly on the point. That's it. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. See you next time.